India in what we in Pakistan call a sub jail, a kind of luxury house arrest. If I look out, I see my mother wandering around the garden, her head covered by a shawl, feeding the birds. There are tears in her eyes. My mother is sad about the waste of food. I know she is remembering all the children we fed in our house and wondering how they are faring now. When I came home from school in Mingora, I never found my house without people in it. Here the only sound is of the birds and Kushal's Xbox. I sit alone in my room doing a jigsaw puzzle and long for guests. We didn't have much money and my parents knew what it was like to be hungry. My mother never turned anyone away. I know my mother is lonely. Now she is always on the phone to everyone back home. Our house has all these facilities but when she arrived, they were all mysteries to her and someone had to show us how to use the oven, washing machine and the TV. My mother misses going shopping in China Bazaar. She is happier since my cousin, Shah, came to stay. He has a car and takes her shopping. But it's not the same as she can't talk to her friends and neighbours about what she bought. A door bangs in the house and my mother jumps. She often cries, then hugs me. I know my father cries too. He knows people say it's his fault that I was shot, that he pushed me to speak up all he worked for for over almost 20 years, has been left behind. His dream in life was to have a very big school in Swat, providing quality education, to live peacefully and to have democracy in our country. In Swat, he had achieved respect and status in society. He never imagined living abroad and he gets upset when people suggest we wanted to come to the UK. Often over meals, we talk about home and try to remember things. Already some of the things from Swat seem like stories from a distant place. My father spends much of his time going to conferences on education. I know it's odd for him that now people want to hear him because of me. When he went to France to collect an award for me, he told the audience, In my part of the world, most people are known by their sons. I am one of the few lucky fathers known by his daughter. I don't want to be thought of as the girl who was shot by the Taliban, but the girl who fought for education. This is the cause to which I want to devote my life. On my 16th birthday, I was in New York to speak at the United Nations. I did not write my speech with the UN delegates in mind. I wrote it for every person around the world who could make a difference. Deep in my heart, I hoped to reach every child who could take courage from my words and stand up for his or her rights. Let us pick up our books and our pens, I said. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book and one pen can change the world. I didn't know how my speech was received until the audience gave me a standing ovation.